Hey, welcome to the yard. We set this up a few months ago in the summer. We've had the yurt for about six years now, living in it. Now, we set it up on an off-grid piece of land that is pretty remote, only a trail in and out for a four-wheeler or skiing. So, right now, this is just our camp and we're coming out here on the weekends and such. Everything that we've built out here, we had to haul either on a sled or a trailer with a four-wheeler. We've had a, a soft entry into, uh, into living on this land with such a harsh winter and, um, and we're, we're going to be out here full time uh, come summer. This is our Fisher Baby Bear stove. We've had it for a few years. The Fisher does everything from heating our drinking water and uh, melting our snow in the winter for, for drinking and cooking. All of our cast irons are hanging on the wall, uh, ready to go. We have a nice uh, drying system back there to dry all of our gloves and socks and such. Wood storage, some gloves for handling the, uh, the hot items on the stove. We laid some stones down here and really enjoyed that process. Our, our fisher is the heart of the yurt. Our two burner oven has been sweet. We purchased it about five years ago. Two burners on top and a small oven for baking and roasting and such. It runs on propane. And we use about a grill tank uh, once every four or five months we go through it. Pardon me. Cooking surface, utensils and items for the kitchen. We're going to build a more real kitchen here soon with cabinets and countertops and such. We melt our water right now. That's pretty sweet about winter. Uh, we're carrying it in in the summer. We get by with a cooler or throwing stuff outside. This is our bed. It's a, a three-fold futon situation here with a wool mattress. All we have to do is throw these wood planks down in the back and turn it into a couch and it can fold up into itself again. This thing's sweet, we're really happy we have it. It used to be our guest bed and couch when we had a bed, but this is all we have at the moment. At night we use oil lamps and candles for lighting. We really love it. We hope to get some solar here soon, but for now we're enjoying learning how to use the oil lamps and making candles when we can. We really like having a thermometer inside. We can tell the, the change uh, between inside and out. And when you're heating with a wood stove, it's really uh, a nice tool to know how hot to fire the stove. We don't have any elect uh, electricity or internet or cell phone service, so we have to entertain ourselves in other ways. This is where we keep the games and books. Our ham radio for listening to the weather and the local radio to know what's happening out there. This little piece is a, 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 a joy to have. When we come into the earth, we throw our clothes and, and bags up here on this table. Down here we have bedding. Our bissel is how we, how we sweep. We just uh, splurged and bought this bad boy this year. It's pretty sweet. With a, with a broom and a bissel, we change the world. Our clothing uh, cabinet where we hang our clothes, throw some boots, ski boots and such, hats up top. We have our toiletries and such here. We got this at Ikea. It's pretty alright. 
And back around to the front door, we've got our jackets and boots. We plan to build this out into more of a home this summer and we're moving in in the spring. But for now we're just camping out and enjoying the process. Follow along if you'd like to see the transformation and hope to see you in the next video.